you to a, a software called Dreamlit, which uh, can address some of these challenges. So the, the specific data set uh, that I've been been motivated is um, I, I'm going to talk about, but uh, this applies to any kind of cohort uh, study design that's increasingly common in the field. So I, I've been uh, most interested in Alzheimer's disease, which is a, a common cause of age-related uh, dementia, which is a and is a neurodegenerative neurodegenerative disease with a strong uh, genetic uh, component. The goal is to identify salt type specific uh, uh, gene expression signatures with AD to characterize the biology of progression as, as well as neuropsychiatric symptoms. And so the data set um, that my colleagues generated were from single nucleus RNA-seq from the, with the 10X genomics platform. And this has, 8.8 uh, .8 million cells. It has over 3,000 biosamples, including technical replicates from over 1,600 donors, um, over 560 technical batches, uh, uh, which is 10x batches. Um, and the data set is about 5,000 cells per sample um, for about 5 to 50 cell types, uh, depending on the annotation. And one of the challenges, the, the shared challenges of the, the single cell data sets is fairly low read count per cells. So on the, the biological side, we would like to ask questions about uh, a differential expression based on, on disease state uh, within each cell cluster. Um, and then, then downstream, think about a genetic regulation. So existing uh, tools, we're struggling to, to scale uh, both computationally uh, to this very large scale data set. And um, we're not able to model the, the statistical complexity of the RNA-seq with repeated measures at, at the, 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 the single cell level. So the engineering goals, um, first from the st statistical side, is to be able to statistically model a, a repeated measures design with, with, uh, a 500, with about 5,000 uh, uh, nuclei per biosample, including t uh, uh, technical replicates. There's going to be variation in measurement precision uh, based on the count nature of the data, as, as highlighted by Limavoom or DEC2 that, that we're all uh, familiar with. And the low read depth uh, leads to heteroscedastic. Uh, uh, gene expression measurements. There's also many small technical batches, and we'd like to be able to, to use random effect shrinkage to account for batch, to batch variation in the form of precision weighted linear mix models. And finally, we'd like to use an empirical based shrinkage like in Limavoom uh, to perform shrinkage across genes. And this, this statistical framework was um, in, inspired by a package I I I uh, worked on previously called variance partition, as well as Lima, which uh, we're all for, we're all familiar with in the in the field, and then Muscat, which is designed uh, uh, for single cell RNA seq uh, differential expression um, for for smaller data sets, and so on the computational side, the basic data processing. Um, is pretty daunting because the H5AD file is a 160 gigs uh, just zipped. So we 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 need to use, perform the analysis using on disk instead of in memory storage, and we'd like to parallelize both the pre-processing and the statistical analysis. So in this this Dreamlit package, I integrated, um, uh, which is well integrated with single cell experiment from Bioconductor. Um, and simplifies a lot of the the, the user-based tasks and puts the, the statistical and computational ch uh, challenges uh, in the back end. And so it also includes integration with plotting and, and downstream analyses. So the goals is a, a scaling to fit complex of regression models and allows um, um, easy use uh, by, by by the end user, and so for uh, for for multi-donor 
differential expression analyses. This is the, the basic workflow with precision weighted linear mix models as the, the workhorse. So across multiple donors, you collect, uh, say, two, two, uh, uh, two biosamples, but it, it could be more, it could be fewer. And you can use a, a normal prior in, in terms of a random effect to account for, for these repeated measures. You can also use a random effect in order to account for batch to batch variation. Um, the variation due to the number of cells observed is modeled with precision weights. And um, the cell the expression from a single cell cluster are then aggregated with pseudo bulk, and we perform standard library size correction. And then the mean variance trend from count data that we're all familiar with is uh, accounted with a with a second round of precision weights. Then, then we can perform downstream analysis with Dreamlet, say case control analysis within cell cluster, or we can perf perform. A these analyses across cell cluster or or uh, perform variance purchasing analyses at the gene level. And so these the the computational scaling is especially important for for data sets of these size. Um, and so Dreamlet uh, shown in red this is across the, the uh, across a thousand donors and two million cells. Uh, when just computing the the pseudo bulk, which is a very time consuming step, has by far the the, the lowest memory and and very uh, 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 competitive runtime, so it can pre be performed on uh, on a laptop. Uh, for dif for differential expression analyses, um, it's the only scalable uh, approach that can include random effects. So on the y-axis is time and number of subjects, and so. And so even modeling batch as a random effect, it's order it's orders of magnitude faster than say uh, than GLMAR or or the MAST software. Um, uh, statistically, it provides um, it matches the performance of the, the leading software using benchmarks uh, developed by Muscat. And on a permuted data set, so, so real single cell data with permuted phenotypes, it's able to, um, to correctly control the, the false positive rate while depending on conditions and sample size, uh, some of the, the, the other methods um, uh, show increased false positive rate. So just a quick introduction to an, an analysis, the, this, um, this group, uh, profile memory T cells um, from donors that had been exposed to tuberculosis and then performed single cell RNA seq and identified uh, subsets of T cells. And with the Dreamlet pipeline, we're able to, in, in this case, highlight one subset of T cells, look at the the, the the mean variance trend and incorporate that into to downstream precision weights. We can look at the gene level, the the contribution of batch and donor, and as expected, the TB status uh, is, uh, has a fairly uh, a small contribution to to, to gene expression. Um, and a Dreamlet also includes downstream gene. Uh, uh, gene set enrichments uh, following the differential expression analyses. And we find this population of uh, T cells, which shows up regulation of, of T, cell, uh, 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 T cell immunity, even after a substantial time uh, uh, following exposure to TB status. Um, and with that, I just want to thank uh, 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 my colleagues at, at Mount Sinai Med School and the Center for Disease Neurogenomics, um, and all of the uh, the the software dependencies which were contributed by by bioconductor uh, developers that make some of the, the this work uh, possible. Um, this will be available target date of September first. Uh, with uh, documentation and examples, and uh, will be on BioArchive and, and Bioconductor. So thank you so much. Thanks, Dr. Hoffman.